All right, everybody, welcome back. G here, and welcome back to Let's Barely Play Mega Man X. I decided I'm going to re rename the Let's Play series because of my horrible performance. You know, first with the Chill Penguins fiasco, happened to redo Storm Eagle stage, and then dying at Launch Octopus's stage here before. All right, so uh, anyway, we're going to try this again. I'm going to get through it this time, all right? I'm determined. I know what I'm doing wrong, and I'm going to try and fix my mistakes. Alright, Launch Octopus, I'm coming for you. Yeah, Launch Octopus is pretty angry looking, too. You know, forget what I said about Spark Mandrill. I, I think Launch Octopus is probably the scariest uh, guy of the bunch. He's done some he's done some pretty mean things with those tentacles of his. You know, like, pickpocket eight wallets at once. Don't know what you guys were thinking. You know, I'm pure and innocent, so. So how could I possibly be knowing what I'm referencing right now? Moving on. Ah, dumb seahorses. Yeah, just blast away at his face. His angry, angry face. Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna take this as a good sign. Let's do this. Extra man, Mega Man. Okay. Stupid blowfish. Blowholes. <laughs> Blowholes. Yeah, just keep launching those arrows. Come on. Let's Hawkeye this. Yeah. Launch him again. Oh, hey. He didn't grab me back there. Okay, wow, it took, it took me this long to figure out. And I'm supposed to be, like, an expert on this game. Alright, well, I'm just... I know I keep saying this, but I'm gonna... I gotta stop charging when I'm, like, platforming and precision and stuff. Or against guys like that. Alright, well, we're doing good so far. You know, I've got... I haven't lost a man yet. And now we're approaching this whale. This very content looking whale. This content little whale is gonna find me a way to his heart. <laughs> I mean look at look at that face. Every other robot that we've come across so far, you know, looks very uh very angry. You know, when we get to the last level, so man, you're gonna you're gonna see something that looks fucking pissed. Or flipping pissed. Yeah, flipping pissed. I mean, this whale here, he was just like, eh, and I just blew him up. I don't even feel good about this one because his body's sticking around. All the other guys exploded and I kind of forgot about it. Yeah, so anyway, another angry faced robot coming up from Sigma's design, I guess. And yeah, <laughs> look at his face when he was going down like that. It's just like, ugh, can't believe this. All right. Anyway, continuing on. After we got another selves, another secret heart piece. Let us move on with the rest of the level. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the only hidden item in this level. Yeah, it's definitely got to be. All right, and then we get to fight. Not one, but two. Where there? There is two. Of these dragon guys. This one's a little harder because he actually bear it, digs himself underground. But I mean, not a whole lot harder. You can just jump down here and boom, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and got me just just that much. All right, whatever. I don't need it. I don't need his charity. You know, his charity of picking up whatever he drops when he's dead. Yeah, charity. All right. Now, even with his weakness, Launch Octopus is probably uh, still one of the har harder guys to contend with. Because you know, his weakness doesn't do anything to stop his attacks. And I guess it doesn't even really do as much damage. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is his weakness. I mean, I could be oh, doing quite a bit of damage. 
Right, he's not doing this one move that I... Yeah, this... That gets really annoying. But I mean, like, the, the shield here can get stopped by, like, the missiles he shoots out. So, it, you, you, gotta, you gotta time it right and get close to him to... You know, get him, but... Ah, uh, shoot. Yeah, and then he does this. I'm just... I'm gonna use this tiny little bit of sub tank just to be safe. Oh, for a second there, I thought I was the one who died. Almost did. Well, anyway, there we go. We defeated Launch Octopus. More like Launch... Stupid. <sighs> I really gotta work on this. But hey, once again, thanks for everyone who's sticking with me thus far. Alright. And yeah, we got ourselves the homing torpedo. Probably the coolest weapon in the game. You know, it's pretty fun. It homes in. Uh, attacks and kills people. Like every other gun in this game. Yeah. Alright, so anyway, from here, we're going to move on and face Boomer Quagger. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me just look up... Boomer Kwagger. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Boomer Kwagger. I mean, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but yeah, his stage out of everyone's is probably the hardest, though. It might not give me as much trouble as Launch Octopus did. Hopefully, it won't. Uh, but it's like a vertical stage, which, you know, those are fun. Basically, you just gotta climb yourself up this tower. And it's also got a lot of hazards that are really annoying to deal with. But yeah, I mean, uh, if anyone anyone's ever played a Mega Man game, they know they know what they got to deal with when they see a stage like this. When it's not left to right, but down to up. I, mean, I guess I could use the boss weapons a little bit more, but, uh... I'm just pretty good with Mega Buster. I know what I'm doing with it. Oh, yeah, here you gotta, you gotta be careful of uh, hitting those lasers when they're on. Because it activates those sentries up there, and they're, uh... Yeah, they're kind of annoying, but... That part wasn't so bad. I think there's a part in the last levels... Uh, the, the Sigma Fortress that's got uh, a big hallway of those that's kind of annoying, but... Oh man, am I really going to die this early in Boomer Quagger stage? <laughs> but then again, I guess you guys aren't that surprised. I wish these turtles drop more health. They look like they'd be... There we go. Yeah, they look like a guy that would carry big health, you know? Alright, let's make this next part easier on us. Yeah. Another reason why the shield's pretty dang useful, and it will be useful at the end of the game. Yeah, this is a horribly ineffective elevator when the walls are lined with spikes and there's these spiky platforms uh, just getting ready. They're just trying to keep everyone on their toes, all of Boomer Coagger's employees. He doesn't want them loitering around the elevators, so he made them as dangerous as possible. Yeah, wow. Forget how useful the shield is for this part. Because I think as long as, like, it's an enemy that dies in one hit, the shield doesn't really, like, take any damage. You think you can almost do this indefinitely. Because I know there's a good farming technique for when you're at the last levels and you need some health for your sub tanks in between. Uh, yeah, you can't get that heart piece yet. Uh, by just walking down and up that part in Armor Armadillo's level uh, with the sub tanks. No, no, I mean with the bats. And you use that to fill up your sub tanks. That's what I mean. And wow, look at the time. Alright, so this is Mike G signing off. See you next time.